Good day, AJ here again, and this time we're going to do a very unique video, very, very short and to the point. Many of you have asked the question, how can you use the Arranger keyboard in general, but specifically the Keytron products as a songwriting tool? And to answer that question, I'm going to do something that may never have been done before in the history of music, right? So we're going to take a style. Latin style, I guess, in this case, uh, one of the good ones coming from the AJAM Sonic Pro 1 package. And we're going to blend in some African rhythms. When I say African rhythms, automatically most people think about percussion and drums. But this time I'm going to go to the heart of West Africa and borrow some of those high, high sounding mm, Sukus guitars. We call them Sukus guitar, right? So pretty much guitars are played very, very high indeed. And also the nice bass from Dombolo the bass line, which is very, very unique because the bass also incorporates some of the rhythm with uh, the kick drum as well. And you're going to listen and find out why I'm saying all of this, right? So let's say I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning, which it is right now, 4.30 a.m. in the morning here on the East Coast, and you were trying to produce something. You had a re revelation. You have an idea. You want to put that idea down in terms of music. This is where the strength of the arranger comes in because it's actually able to have you lay down tracks real quick and have an idea that you can put down together. So in this case, I'm going to go into the salsa rhythm, pick up this, and I'm going to add using the real chords from the AJAM Pro 1 package. Now, in this case, the real chords are going to be those guitars, and the real bass is going to be that live bass player. Listen to how I take a salsa beat and pretty much add some more different culture to it, right? And this is where most of the music today is actually going to. Being able to take something, let's say, from a disco beat or something from R&B or funk. A lot of the new stuff is actually a mixture of the old stuff. Let's talk about how that can work here with the event as we're talking right now. Let's go over to the screen and I'm going to go into the salsa right here. And here we go.
so on and so forth. So what was I doing at the end? I was also trying to kill two birds with one stone. So right there at the end, I was doing um, the riff. So in Arranger D, when you go over to Arranger D, if you notice, I wasn't playing the chords with my left hand anymore. So all, most of the styles, especially with the AJM Sonic Pro 1 package, they have a little R. Let's go to the screen right there so you can see. If you look at the style name, it has an R at the end of it. So this means that if I select that particular style, in this case, that one with the R over there, then when I'm playing in the arranger, A, B, C, uh, for the most part, I can introduce the chord changes, right? In other words, I can play the chords myself, the different chord progression. When I go to arranger D, the arranger kicks in and takes over and uses a, a chord table or a chord, uh, yeah, a chord table uh, pre-programmed depending on the particular style in question and also depending on what chords you play and that table is what controls the arranger so at that point in time my hands are now free to play anything over the keyboard that's the riff that's a feature that was introduced way back with the SD5 and then carried over uh, on into the Audio series and some of that was trickled into the SD9 as well but with the AJM Sony Pro 1 package, we're bringing back those styles as well. So stay tuned, and there's a lot more coming up for you guys, especially those of you who requested being able to use this machine once you have the content, right? So you have this great machine that can do A, B, C, D, but you have that content now with the AJM Sony Pro 1 package to be able to do what you want, when you want it, and how you want it. Ciao.